Hey everyone, Josh here, back with another software tutorial. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at Notion, which excites me a whole bunch because I personally use Notion for a lot of the things that I'm doing. And as you can see here, we've got things like AI, docs, wikis, projects, calendar. It has a lot much more than just a traditional CRM, but it actually offers a place to bring in a whole bunch of information and store it, connecting with your team, whether you're working on a personal project, team project, or more. My goal is by the end of this tutorial to give you a beginner's idea of how to actually use the Notion platform for yourself and how to get the most out of your experience with it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So jumping right into Notion here, we can see that there's three options for us, for my team, for personal use, and for school. And that's because Notion offers a lot more than just a traditional CRM experience. So for me, in my case, I'm gonna say for personal use. We'll go through this and it'll get it ready for us. So going straight from the getting started screen, it says to us, welcome to Notion. Here are the basics. Click anywhere to begin typing, hit slash to see all the types of content that you can add, you know, headers, videos, sub pages, et cetera. We can highlight any text and use the menu that pops up to style our writing. We can use the dots on the left side of the checkbox to hover. We can click the new page to actually go and create a new page. And I'll show you what that means in a sec because Notion has a lot to do with more than just creating a document, writing some text in it, and then organizing it under a specific space or dashboard. The thing is with Notion, there's a lot more customization than any other platform that I've actually used. And that's the reason I like it so much opposed to other platforms. Whereas this doesn't lock you into any one particular type of content, whether that be the columns and the types of columns that you can actually have or locked into different spaces in that nature. This simply allows you the possibility to have complete customization over your documents, whatever those may look like for you. So in our case, we're going to click anywhere to just start typing. And literally, that's what we do. We go here and we can just click around anywhere and just start typing. Now, the most important feature of Notion is that slash feature because as you're typing anywhere, whether it be for your documents or for your calendar or for your events or whatever part of Notion you're gonna be using, that slash function is gonna allow you to get the basic blocks of any one particular type of Notion document. We've got things like text, we can embed a sub page, to-do list, header, bulleted list, all the information you're gonna need as you're actually typing. But if we scroll down here to Notion AI, we can actually use Notion AI to ask it to write, continue writing, summarize. But in addition to having all of those basic text functions and the ability to actually style documents, we actually have the ability to upload images, web bookmarks, video, audio, code, file. In addition to that, we have all the different things from the Notion database, things like table view, board view, gallery view, and more. And if you scroll through this thing, you will start to notice that as we get into the more advanced blocks, Notion really allows all of the customization that you would see across other platforms, but it's all innately built into the text tool. You literally just have to do the slash function and you have complete customization over how to create and design your page. If you wanna have something that's more curated to coding and programmers, you can set up your documents to look that way. If you're looking for a more marketing standpoint, you can set it up to look that way. The point is with that slash function, you can turn any document on any page and the pages themselves are the documents. That's what's cool about Notion is that you can customize them to your whim. You can actually go and really do anything with them. Because the slash function offers a ton of things that you won't find in a typical CRM platform. You can see as I'm scrolling through here, we're already seeing tons of third-party functions like Google Drive, add preview of files, embed tweets, etc. And if I keep scrolling through here, you can just see that there is so many things that I can actually embed within the Notion page. And there's so much that I can actually do with this to customize it to my own whim. Even before we get to things like delete, duplicate, turn into page, copy link to block, all these things, we have the ability to change colors, backgrounds, etc. It really provides a complete customization for us to do whatever we want with these particular documents. And let me show you a couple of the cool ways that you can actually have these set up for yourself. Because although Notion offers a ton of templates built in, the most important feature of this application is the fact that you have complete customization over these pages, which can be documents, spreadsheets, PowerPoint, whatever you actually want them to be, the customization in Notion is there. As opposed to other CRM platforms that do have a little bit of conformity that you have to stick to, generally speaking, Notion offers a little bit more customization than the other guys, and that just makes it so much more versatile in creating and designing it and really customizing it to be however you personally want it to be, whatever your goals are. Now, this does mean that it's a little bit more less so beginner friendly, but with a few more intros into the different sections of this, we're gonna surely show you how exactly to customize this to your own whim, to get it to be wherever you want it to be. Now, I know that can be a little bit intimidating with just looking at a blank document with a ton of things on the slash, but honestly, once you get the hang of the basics, it becomes pretty easy to customize it to be however you want it to be. So looking at the quick notes here on the left-hand side from the menu, we can actually see the basics of where we're actually starting. Things like 
Use this template to write quick notes you can reference later, jot down some text, make a to-do list, create subpages, embed links. Notion wants you to understand how to customize it because that's where the true value of this application lies, in the ability to customize the pages to be however you want it to be. If you're trying to create a report for your team to view and you want to embed images, put in a tweet, you know, really source a whole bunch of data from all these different sources, Notion allows the customization to do so without having to rely on a ton of, you know, rules and features that really box you in and don't allow you that freedom to actually design this page to be however you want it to be. Notion actually has that. And that's what's most important about it is that Notion has that flexibility. And if you see, as we move down the left side of the menu, we're gonna see more features that Notion offers. If we go to the personal home from the left side here, we can see things like organize everything in your life in one place. Now, Notion has these templates curated for us specifically because these are usually the most popular. In our case, we have things like daily recipes, life, yearly travel goals, travel plans, and this is where pages come into effect. Now you may remember pages from when I mentioned them earlier and said that it honestly can be customized to be however you want it to be. Spreadsheets, documents, wikis, etc. It doesn't matter. Because you have so much customization on Notion, you could turn these into whatever you want them to be turned into. And this is a great example here. For personal home, if we hover over movie list, this is what is considered a page. If we click into it, we can see that it's got a whole bunch of things on it already. Things like movie list, want to watch. But you'll notice as I'm hovering over the different things of text, there are different icons popping up. But what do those icons mean? Well, if we click on the left hand side here, we can see click to add below and alt click to add a block above. Now it's very similar to website creation tools like Elementor, if you're familiar with that, where you can add things in blocks, block here, block there, and customize it to be however you want it to be, the layout and the content directly. So in this case, this is the default way that it's set up, but say if I wanted to add a block above, all I need to do is hover over that plus icon and just hit alt click, and I can add certain blocks above or below. So in this case, if I wanted to add above a bulleted list, let me say we could do that. If I wanted to go down here and just start typing, I could go down to the bottom and just honestly start typing. Or again, typing slash and seeing the long list of things I can put in there. So in my case here, for the want to watch section, if I don't want to have the add a movie button with the different IMDB links, I want to have more so something like a calendar that says when I'm watching these movies. Well, all I have to do to delete this section is just honestly highlight it. So all I got to do is go over this and just hover over it. Yeah, you can see I'm actually adjusting the column size here, but I don't want to do that. I want to just select all this and hit delete. And we'll go here to that section and I'll just hit the slash key. And we'll scroll down to the view and we'll say calendar view. And so we'll put a calendar view in here. Now we can actually select the data source. We can pull that data source from the other pages that we've created, or we can create a new database. And if we do that, we just have a blank calendar. You can see already how you start to have a little bit more customization than what you would be traditionally offered with other CRMs because of the fact that you have this so customizable on the page, just hit the slash key and you can put anything on there, whether it's just a simple header, an image, or pulling a complex data set and actually pasting it in here or even using these templates like the calendar I just created to be set up automatically for you. So in my case here, once again, if I wanted to add something above or below, all I would have to do is hover over the left-hand side here above calendar view and we can see click to open menu. And if I actually click to open the menu here by hitting those six dots, we can see that it's now highlighted that whole section. And we can do things like duplicate, open as a page, open in a new tab, open in side peak. Now, again, each section that you create is its own quote unquote page. Now, what does that mean exactly? Well, if I wanna add more details to this movie calendar, all I would have to do is open that page and hit open as page. And now we've opened the calendar as its own separate page completely. We could add more details onto this page because it's its own complete separate section. We can add things in here like the names of the movies we wanna watch, the dates we wanna watch them, all this extra documentation that is its own separate page, but is stored as a subset of that original calendar. It makes it easy to embed things and really improve the navigation for your documents because instead of having just one giant folder that has all of the details that you could possibly wanna hold and you have to open each document one by one, each piece of information is stored in the way that you want it to be stored, where you want it to be stored. And that is why Notion is such a powerful tool. Customization is really the name of the game here. And that's what makes this tool just so good. Moving back onto the side menu here, we go to things like task list. We can see we can use this template to track our personal tasks with our checklists, to do, in progress, done. Very simple there. You know, it's kind of like what we've seen with other applications. On the right hand side, if we hit new, we can go and add an actual new page. And this is what the new page section looks like. You know, we can add a title, date created, status, and like most other CRMs, we have the ability to add the statuses and properties that we choose. But 
In Notion's case, we have the ability to add so much more than what is offered in a traditional CRM. We have outside connections to Google File Drive, Figma File, Zendesk, GitHub, etc. And you can see that there's a lot of stuff here. Now, if I want to actually go and add a task here, I'll say film video. So I'll type that in here. And we've got our statuses here. And I can actually choose templates. Now, when I'm setting up these new quote unquote pages, if I don't want to have the same page just be blank every time, I can set up templates ahead of time that make it very easy to actually go and create replicatable templates and insert them into pages. So for example, if I have a travel template for myself, if I have a calendar template for myself, whatever I want to have set up, I can do. And customization here is what allows me to do so. Now, if we go back over the side here, we can see some of the other templates that they've set up for us. Things like journal, document your life, daily happenings, special occasions, and reflections on your goals. Now, it's important to note here that this is only a minor fraction of what you can actually do with this. These are just the templates that Notion has set up for you right off the bat. But the ability to actually go and create and design your own templates, many of which can be found online for free, is what allows you to have such powerful use of this tool. You can see things here like daily reflection, Hawaii vacation, 28th birthday. Well, I got about five years to go before I turn 28, so I'm gonna put that on hold for now. So we'll say, how about 23rd birthday? Got that one coming up, 23rd birthday, and we got customization. And you know what? I actually wanna add an emoji to this. Um, so if I hover over this, I can actually add a cover on this image. We can change the cover type. I can use unsplash and I'll say uh, birthday. And we'll see, yeah, put those balloons in. And now we've got that and there we go. And we can add a property, you know, things like number, as in, or what number am I turning? Uh, we have different customization options, even just within that number. We can see what the type is, what the number format is. There are so many different formats you can choose. Number, bar, ring, whatever that may be, color. And this is just scratching the surface of what Notion has to offer. Instead of just clicking on number and getting just a number input, you have the ability to customize it to your whim. You can do whatever you wanna do with that number. You can see just as I'm selecting the options within the options here, I'm being presented with more options for customization. I can make this number a ring with color, divide by 100, show number, duplicate property, delete, etc. There's a lot of this that goes on under the hood here. And while we don't have time to get into it, let me know down in the comments below if you want to see me go into more of this in the future, because I'd be happy to show you so. All right, moving back over to the left hand side menu here, the reading list. Again, just another template that Notion has set up for us right off the bat. We have things that you would typically see in a CRM board, things like all, grouped by status, books, articles, film and TV. These are just ways that Notion has set it up for us right off the bat because other people have had better luck with this. And these are the best and most popular ones to use. So in our case, we have you know all of these things here and they all can be shown in a different format. It's all about the way that you're storing and organizing your information to make it as user-friendly and intuitive as possible. And allowing the user to have this much customization is really what sets Notion apart from every other project management or CRM that you're gonna find online. But now here's the cool part. If we wanna add a custom page of our own, we go down here to the side and we just hit the add a page button. If we click that, we start with just a blank template. Again, we can use templates that are put online on the internet for free that many people are offering and paid ones too if we're really filling up for it. For me personally, I paid for a Notion setup pack just so that I wouldn't have to spend all the time setting these up from scratch. And it's made things a lot easier for me. It's made it easier to plan, store information, and it's made it a lot easier to organize more of the information for my life. And that's what I like more about this is that instead of locking you into that traditional CRM with the columns and all that information there, this allows me to customize it to be however I want it to be. If I set up a whole template for myself and I decide that a year from now, there's one section on it that just isn't quite working for me anymore, instead of starting completely from scratch, I can literally just select one portion of it and replace it with something else. So in our case, we actually can go down to the final bits down here, things like the calendar, which we can find in Notion. Now, this actually has you sign in through Google, so we won't quite be going over this today, but it allows you to integrate Notion directly into your Google Calendar, which makes things pretty intuitive for managing your events. Going back to this, we can actually see things like create a team space if you actually wanna get your team onto Notion. I know many startups that choose to use Notion because it has this customization to use and invite your team. Now, if we click that, we can actually see create a new team space with our icon and name, description, etc., and everyone at my burner account, that's just what I put for the name. My Notion and new members will have access to this team space. And we can learn more about team spaces. Now, if you're following along, I highly encourage you to click on that link and actually go read what it is about team spaces that makes Notion unique because it's pretty cool. But for now, we're gonna keep going through this here. Now, remember how I mentioned earlier that there were a couple more templates than just the five that you see on the side there? Well, if we actually go and click into the template section down here, we can actually see that Notion has a lot more templates for us to work off of. We don't need to build these templates ourselves. They're already set up for us and nicely they're categorized. So we've got things like product 
end of the product tab if you're a product manager. We've got product spec, wiki, vision and strategy, user research database, product launch brief. There's five more just in that section. Remote brainstorming, experiment results. Now down to marketing. We've got a whole bunch of marketing templates set up. If you wanna have your brand assets stored here, if you wanna have a campaign brief, a, a media list. There's a lot of stuff for marketing there too. If we move down to engineering, engineering tech spec, two more, bug trackers. Really, there is a lot of different options that appeal to different people here. And I kindly encourage you to go find the one that fits the best for you. You know, design, design portfolio, design critique startup, investor updates, operations. There's so many templates, I could go on and on about them forever. But go through this and find the ones that work for you. And if you choose to, if you actually go down to the bottom here and hit the more templates button, from this page, we can see templates made from thousands of other people just like you. Things for work. We've got almost 4,000 templates there. 1,000 for school, 8,000 for personal. Wow, let's check out some of the personal ones. Health and fitness, personal finance, entertainment, hobbies, travel. You know, this is a personal finance tracker and it's made by Notion for free. You know, they do have ones that are paid on here, but I think for the starting portion of you, you're just gonna be able to get by with what's free and available. So let's do this one by 107 Laserfish, Mindful Habit Tracker 2024. We can simply click into this and we can view the templates, see how it would look on our Notion board. Um, we got things like the date, monthly stats, current week, history, all of this information that would make it extremely easy to get set up using this. And all we have to do is hit that start with template button and it'll immediately go and add it into our Notion. Now, this is where everything comes together. This is just one of the thousands of templates that Notion has available, created by Notion and created by third-party community members just like you. And the best part, you can get them all for free. Now, as it's duplicating Mindful Tracker 2024 into our Notion, we can actually think about how good this is gonna be because we have the ability to customize it to our will. If we go through here and you know we actually take out all the getting started quick note and all of those other things, we can actually have a full left-hand side list of all the templates that work for us. What is the best for our specific working conditions? This is what allows us to have more flexibility with Notion than any other platform. And this is the reason why I'm such a fan of it. And to give you an example, of just how customized Notion can become, I'm gonna show you just a screenshot, I'm not gonna to go too far into depth on this, of what my actual Notion looks like. Now, I use a template set up called Second Brain. Now, it essentially functions as, well, a second brain. And this is how I've got it customized for myself. I have it set up into plan, finance, fitness, nutrition, leisure, vision, content calendar, habits, and the time box. And then we also have things broken down on the side here, things like how I'm planning my days, weeks, months, quarters, year. For the finance section here, we've got things like income, expenses, etc. Fitness, fitness journey, nutrition, meal planning, all recipes, grocery list, etc. What trip destinations I wanna have, book trackers. And then I have a couple of daily habits here, which I'm not the best at keeping track of, but I just, for the purposes of this, assuming that you stick to your goals, you would have all these boxes checked. And the cool thing about all of this is that each one of these individual tasks here is its own page that you can customize. So like I said before, if we go to the side menu here and we click on this, we can actually go and see all this information. And if we click the open a new tab button, we can simply open that whole thing in its own tab. We can see all the completed weeks we've got, you know, what days we've got, what the routine is. Now, this is just customized based on how I wanted to have it set up, but if we cycle back to here, we can see that this is just a simple way I have it set up. And it's one of the thousands of templates that I've got set up that form the basis of this second brain. And as you can see here, I've even customized it with my own personal 8-bit waterfall just to make it a little bit more fun. And this is just the way that Notion works for me. But the cool thing about this application is that there is a ton of flexibility in how you can actually customize it for yourself. This is just what my version looks like with things like planning, finance, fitness, nutrition, leisure, vision, content calendar, habits, etc all looking like. But for you, I'm sure it will look maybe the same, maybe different, maybe a little bit of both. Things would overlap because Notion offers that extreme amount of customization to make it look however you want it to look. And I highly encourage you to spend some time going around and creating what you actually wanna create. Design it so that it works well for you. Because I know for me, it's made things a lot easier using this one I have just set up called Second Brain to actually go and plan things. I've got different calendars and all of those customization options that we've seen throughout this tutorial through already built in for us. And it's made things pretty cool. And that's it. You're all ready to get started using Notion.
Yes, it's that simple. The reason why I love Notion so much as a platform is because it is so customizable and doesn't try and fit you into any one box, but rather offers you a massive sandbox of templates for you to try out and customize yourself to make Notion truly your own. Thank you so much for watching it, everyone. And if you didn't already do it, I highly encourage you to go down in the description below and actually try out Notion for yourself. There is a link down there where you can find taking you directly to Notion, which is, as always, free. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. And as always, my name is Josh. We'll see you in the next one.